Alright guys, hope you're all doing well, hope you're all keeping safe. Welcome back to the weekly vendor reset video. Let's get straight into this one, see what is available this week. Hopefully there's some good pickups. So first we've got the uh, Emmeline's Guard, which is the named P90. SMG damage, crit chance, health damage, perfect preservation, which is actually a pretty good uh, talent. And this is definitely one of the uh, better SMG or named SMGs in the game. So yeah, this might be worth picking up if you don't have it already. I've seen some pretty good builds with this. Uh, CMMG Banshee. This is definitely my, one of my favorite looking guns in the game. SMG damage, crit chance, magazine size, and reformation. Uh, G36 enhanced with preservation. Assault rifle damage, half damage, optimal range. Uh, we've got a M1911. Uh, Murakami backpack with opportunist on there. Skill haste, skill tier, crit damage. So not a great pickup that one. Gilligard chest piece with max crit chance. It's got spotter, which is still a good talent. One of the best talents in the game for damage and uh, for weapon and skill damage. We've got armor and then armor regen. 10% crit chance or crit damage mod, 5% uh, damage reduction, 4.1% uh, burn damage for turret, and then 6.5% duration for sticky. Let's go around to the clan vendor. Clan vendor time. We got the sacrifice, perfect glass cannon. Uh, definitely the best damage dealing talent in the game, I believe, or it's certainly up there, but obviously you take on 60% additional damage. Weapon damage, headshot damage, and skill damage. So this can actually work uh, really, really well because it's all damage, so that could be skill damage and weapon damage this is actually a pretty good pickup you probably want to get rid of headshot damage there but definitely worth picking this up if you don't have it already uh, we've got rigger knee pads uh, eclipse protocol holster and then we've got negotiators dilemma gloves with a weapon damage and crit chance so if you are in need of uh, some double red negotiator dilemma gloves which is probably the best that you can get then they're there for you m700 carbon uh, sniper we've got an urban mdr with rifle damage, crit damage, damage to targets out of cover and killer, custom PF45, SR1 sniper, uh, max headshot damage, max damage to armor, low marks from rifle damage, which is fine. And then we got uh, Sadist, deal 20% weapon damage to bleeding enemies. Can work, but I never really liked this sniper personally. Fenris gloves, uh, we got Areola holding gloves, weapon damage, crit chance, and weapon handling. That can work. Uh, we got Gilligard Backpack with Energize, so let's move on. 8.6% uh, skill duration mod, 4% damage bonus per enemy for the shield, which is, again, really good if you don't have that. Uh, 16,000 armor on kill mod, and then we got a 4.4% duration for the hive. All right, so at the theater vendor, we've got the mop, which is the named shotgun uh, with uh, max armor on kill, damage to armor, shotgun damage with optimist as well, which actually works pretty well. So that's actually a pretty good pickup. A custom M870 uh, MCS. We've got a SIG 716 with max rifle damage, crit damage, health damage, and sadist Murakami gloves with status effects and crit chance. Bowstone armoring knee pads. We've then got a 11% protection from elites mod, uh, plus one cluster mines. 4.3% uh, deflected damage mod, 5.9% damage mod, and then we've also got 6% health mod for the decoy. The campus vendor, we've got Scalpel, uh, the named carbon sniper, maximum rifle damage, headshot damage, magazine with future perfection, which is still one of the best talents in the game. Tactical 308 sniper, uh, we've got a infantry MG5 with frenzy on there, which actually can work really, really well with this weapon. LMG damage, damage to targets out of cover, damage to armor. If you're in need of an MG5, then this is actually a really good one. Uh, we've got Overlord mask with full rainbow, so let's move on. Petrov uh, holster there with weapon damage, repair skills, crit damage, 8.5% skill duration mod, plus one ammo. 4.5% uh, healing for the hive, 6.4% cone size for pulse, and then 4.3% duration for the trap. So really, this uh, MG MG5 is probably the one that you're going to want to get if you're in need of a of a good MG5. All right, DZ West, what have we got? Uh, we've got the Everglasting Glaze with perfect perpetuation, rifle damage, crit damage, magazine size, tactical Super 90 SBS with close and personal, which works really well on a shotgun, shotgun damage, damage to armor, and crit damage. M16A2, rifle damage, crit damage, rate of fire with fast hands. Really wish the devs would do some about these burst fire weapons, just make them a much more viable option, because I do love the M16A2, uh, this variant, but it just doesn't work in this game. Two true patriot gloves with armor, hazard protection, tip of the spear, knee pads, weapon damage, crit damage. Richter and Kaiser gloves, repair skills, and hazard protection. And then we've got a 511 uh, knee pads. 
we've got full rainbow on there, so definitely moving on. 8.5% disrupt resistance mod, 6.1% healing for mines, 4.2% horse regeneration for the shield, 6.1% blind effect duration for firefly, and then 6% health for decoy. All right, so DZ South Vendor, we've got the Devil's Dew backpack uh, with weapon damage, crit chance, skill haste, and perfect clutch. Clutch isn't as good as it once was, but I've still seen builds where it's been used effectively. It does need some kind of buff or amendment to make it better, but still a good backpack. Um, and this isn't a bad roll because you can roll skill haste to whatever you want. Um, and then you still got crit chance on there, although it's probably going to have to be optimized. So we've got enhanced PP. 19 with SM jam uh, SMG damage, crit chance, accuracy, bread basket, SOCOM MK16. We've got a military M9 pistol, hunter's kit, backpack, weapon damage, and weapon handling on that one. Uh, ongoing directive chest piece with weapon damage, crit damage. Petrov backpack with opportunist, weapon damage, health, armor regen. Empress chest piece with max skill damage. It's got spark. Uh, but it's got weapon handling. This is not a bad pickup either. This is actually a pretty good pickup. Empress being probably the best skill damage um, brand set in the game. Uh, so this is definitely worth picking up, guys, if you are in need of something like this. 7.5% headshot damage mod, 5% damage reduction, 5.7% skill haste for the turret, and 6.3% duration for the sticky. DZ South, last one, main entrance, let's go. We've got the claws out, wyvern wear piece, melee damage, pistol damage, and skill damage. So yeah, this is still uh, good if you're wanting a... I don't know, a shield pistol build, possibly. Classic M44 carbine with perpetuation. A classic M60 with breadbasket. Striker's mask, weapon damage test effects. Future initiative holster with repair skills. Sokolov mask with weapon damage, headshot damage, weapon handling. It's not the holy grail of reds on there, but it's still all reds, which is good. Empress international holster, skill damage, weapon and handling. As I said before, if, you, if you're in need of a skill damage build, you just want to get all em you just want to get a lot of Empress stuff. So if you're looking to make one of those and you don't have a piece like this, it's definitely worth picking up. 16.1% repair skills mod, 6.5% burn strength, 4% healing, 8.9% radius for pulse, and then 5.9% shock radius for trap. And with that, let's go to New York. All right, so last two vendors in New York. We got the Org A3 Para XS, still one of my favorite SMGs in the Division franchise by a mile. SMG damage, crit chance, health damage with Vindictive. It's not quite as good in this game as it was in the Division 1 back in the day, but it's still one of my favorites. G28 with Breadbasket, headshot damage, marksman rifle damage, and magazine size. We've got 6716 CQB with Lucky Shot. M14A1 with Finisher, pistol damage, accuracy. I still don't have a max accuracy uh, uh, attribute for a pistol yet for my, uh, for my recal station. Uh, for my library, Rick Hell Library. We've got a full rainbow on this Badger Tough chest piece with Empathetic Resolve on there. Seska Gloves, Weapon Damage, Crit Chance, Status Effects, Douglas and Hardin Mask with Weapon Damage, Headshot Damage, Crit Damage. That can work for a build if you're in need of that. 8.5% uh, Bleed Resistance mod, 8.3% Bleed Resistance mod, plus one Cluster Mines, 5% Skill Haste for Pulse, and then 4% Burn Duration for Sticky. And let's move around to the last vendor here. I really do hope, and I'm going to say this every single time a vendor video comes out pretty much, I really do hope they do something about mods just to make them a lot better than what they are. And I'd also like to see the opportunity to get max mods in vendor pickups because we never see those. PP19 with Unwavering. We've got a Tactical M249 Para with Steady Handed. ACR SS with Rifle Damage, Crit Damage and Accuracy. I st don't have a max accuracy on this rifle either. Uh, we've got Reformation on that. We've got a D50 with uh, pistol damage, damage targets out of cover, Overlord chess piece with explosive delivery, so definitely need to move on. One of the worst talents in the game. And as I've said in previous videos, I really do hope they look at all the really useless talents in this game and either rework them, remove them, or replace them. Uh, one of those three, I wouldn't mind. Seska knee pads with weapon damage, crit chance, and repair skills. Seska Holster with Weapon Damage, Skill Haste, and Skill Damage. And then lastly, 10.1% Crit Damage mod, 16.4% Repair Skills, 4.3% Active Regeneration, 8.7% Radius for Pulse, and then 6.3% Duration for Sticky. So there we go, guys. Thank you very much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy this one, drop a like on the video, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And until the next one, epic out.